Hello. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of Autopilot On Demand for WebSphere MQ, a web-based, highly secure, multi-user solution for accessing IBM's WebSphere MQ. It's delivered as a virtual appliance with zero installation. So let's get started by logging in as David. David is a developer in our organization that has the responsibility to diagnose problems when they occur. What he has found is that the current process requires manual steps, multiple people, and ends up being very time consuming. So what we've done is given David secure access to the queue manager that he's responsible for viewing, the queues and topics and subscriptions that he uses. And so we're going to now go in as David and we're going to run a test using those at that environment. So the first thing we're going to do is load some messages onto the, to the queue. Now these messages are ones that we had previously saved to a file. We're going to restore those back into this queue so we can use them as the basis of our test. Now the way this application works is once we load those messages onto the queue, the application will pick them up and process them. And depending on how that goes, it will place them in one of two queues, either the error queue or the processed queue. And we can see now that we've actually got some errors showing up and, oh, and some that process. So of the 10 messages, three ended up in the error queue, seven in the process queue. So our, of course, what we want to find out is why the ones that went to the error queue uh, went there. So let's take a look at them. These are the actual messages. We can bring them up and view them. Let me make it full screen here and switch it to XML so we can see the, the message. And this is our sample message that, that the application sent. And it looks okay. It doesn't look to have any, any issues in it. So let's go to a, another one, the one of the ones that processed correctly, and bring it up as well. And let's now compare those side by side so we can see the, the messages. And they look pretty similar. But the, uh, the one thing that I do notice here is down here where there's the payment type, we have one that has it spelled as deferred and one that has it spelled as deferred. That's incorrect. That app was, the application should use deferred. Ah, so let's go ahead and fix that now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the error queue again. But this time I'm going to pick one of these messages and I'm going to actually edit it instead of view it. And I'm going to go in and view the data portion. And I'm going to come down and correct it here where there's the spelling error and go ahead and change it to the correct spelling. And now I'm going to take that message that I've just edited and I'm going to move it to the, uh, to the process queue so that it can actually be processed again. So again, we need to wait for the application to pick it up. Let's see if it's run. Okay, not yet. Okay, there we go. It's picked it up. And uh, yes, it went to the process queue. So we've now shown the ability to basically correct that problem. Uh, and of course, now we can go back to the application team and tell them what they need to do to fix the problem. Okay, so that was a very simple walkthrough of Autopilot On Demand uh, for WMQ where we resolved a problem very quickly and easily uh, rather than the process that was done before that it required multiple people uh, to get involved and, and was time consuming. If you'd like more information, please go to www.nastel.com. Thank you.